Now, the CBS 21 Political Insiders with Rob Hanrahan. Welcome back. We're joined by the political insiders, Democratic strategist Charlie, uh, uh, Republican <laughs> strategist Charlie Giroux, Democratic strategist Mark Single. Um, uh, gentlemen, the president just arrived in Brussels for the NATO summit. Uh, Mark, we'll start with you. How important is this to the U.S. and what are you expecting out of the president? Well, it's always important to meet with your allies and the president really needs to treat it as such. Unfortunately, the last couple of interactions with our allies, whether it was in Canada or the NATO allies, uh, he, he's been more insulting than he's been inspiring. Uh, the, the United States still remains the leader of this organization, and we shouldn't squander that leadership. So I hope he gets it right this time. Charlie? I'm sure he will. Anytime. And when Mark says we are the leader, we are the leading funder of NATO, and I think that's what the president's going to want to talk about, is some equalization of the burdens of carrying NATO forward, and frankly, just some modernization of NATO. It's a 50-year-old entity actually more than that, Cold War set up. We won the Cold War thanks to Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher and St. John Paul II. And now it's time to move forward into the new century with a little bit different configuration at NATO. All right, let's talk about the Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. On the Hill for the first time today, Charlie, um, how important are these first rounds of talks when they bring a nominee over They're there? They're important because personality is important. You know, underneath all of the public policy issues that are going to come up you know, over the course of the next few weeks with this confirmation process, personality is very important. Frankly, one of the reasons Robert Bork didn't get confirmed was because of his personality. You look at Elena Kagan and her charm when she went through the nomination process, a little bit different. Clarence Thomas took a different approach himself, much more stalwart in his defense of himself. That worked too, but personality is important. These opportunities to meet with the senators, get to know them, are really helpful. Mark, leading Democrats are in front of the Supreme Court saying no way to this guy. Yeah, I'm hearing that, and I suppose that's a... Um, a legitimate reaction if you believe that uh, there might have been uh, some uh, collusion in an election and the president uh, really has not quite exonerated himself from that. So you can understand why they're feeling uh, the way they're feeling. But to be honest with you, the election is over. This is his choice. And the fact of the matter is that the Republicans have the votes. So this is going to be a 50 to 49 vote eventually. Uh, my prediction is that uh, two Democrats will vote for confirmation. I was going to ask you, who do you think will flip <laughs> oh, I, on I, either side? Well, I yeah. think Manchin flips, uh, and uh, uh, I think that uh, you might have Heitkamp flip, and I think that that allows for the room for Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski to flip. So uh, it's, it's going to be a political calculation, and the Republicans are going to win, and I say put that in front of the people and let's talk about that in the elections then. I don't, you know, it's funny. We don't really disagree there. I think mm -hmm. that uh, Judge Kavanaugh is going to be confirmed. It's going to be a relatively close vote. Frankly, it shouldn't be. There will be a couple of Democrats that flip. I think Mark's probably right about them. Donnelly might as well. There may be a Republican or two that defect, but this really shouldn't be that close. He's eminently qualified. He ought to be confirmed and confirmed quickly. Going to be interesting. Uh, the, the debate between our political insiders continues every Sunday morning at 8.30 on CBS 21's Face the State. Join us for that. And you can catch Charlie Giroux tomorrow night in our Your Voice, Your Future Town Hall. The State of America Town Hall will air at 7 p.m. on CBS21.com.